Atyahara. What does Atyahara really mean? The Upadeshamrita extensively talks about this term Atyahara. But have you ever thought of overindulgence and exploitation in relation to your natural surroundings? The Isha Upanishad says, Isha Vasham Idam Sarvam. Everything is owned and controlled by Krishna. Therefore, as devotees, we only use the quota that belongs to us. But wait a minute. Are you subtly enjoying natural resources as meant for you and owned by you? We have to think about it. In 1973, in a lecture in Los Angeles, Srila Prabhupada stressed on forgetfulness of Krishna. This he defined as avidya. Srila Prabhupada gives very beautifully this example of a flower, a fragrant flower that we see lying around. So we pick it up, we smell it, and we enjoy the fragrance of the flower, subtly thinking, hmm, this beautiful flower for my enjoyment. But as devotees, when we see a flower, we think of Krishna, for Krishna's garland, for Krishna's use. This is the difference in Krishna consciousness. And believe it or not, awakening towards Krishna consciousness starts here, at this point. So what we need to do is strive for more as devotees. Strive for more with conscious living. We very often hear Srila Prabhupada using terms like Ugra Karma, which he defines as nonsense work. Fierce work with no purpose. And this Ugra Karma takes birth from greed and ignorance. And as the famous Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi stated, we certainly have enough for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed. Are you reminded of something again? Atyahara, this intense greed. This is not what we indulge in as devotees. In 1932, in Sajjana or otherwise known as the Harmonist, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, the beloved spiritual master of Srila Prabhupada, stated how cruelty has no space in Krishna consciousness. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur talks about the Kaliya Daman Leela. And we see how Kaliya was actually ousted from Vrindavan because of his cruelty. And therefore, there is no space for cruelty in Krishna consciousness, whether to ourselves or the natural resources that we use and the natural environment that we live in.